Anyone seeking Switzerland's protection from persecution can apply for asylum at the Swiss border or on Swiss territory. The purpose of the asylum procedure is to determine whether the applicant has the right to Switzerland's protection and therefore should be granted permission to remain in the country. So how does Switzerland's asylum procedure work? To begin with, each asylum seeker is assigned to one of Switzerland's six federal reception and processing centers. These are located in Elstetten, Basel, Bern, Budri, Valerno Novazzano, and Zurich. To make sure that the procedure runs as efficiently as possible, all of the officials involved in the asylum procedure are based in these centers. SEM staff, translators, legal protection, and return counseling. On arrival at the center, asylum seekers first have to register. They are asked to provide basic personal details, are photographed, and have their fingerprints taken, which are then stored in a database. Any identity papers or passports in their possession are confiscated. The applicants undergo a preliminary medical checkup. Also, asylum seekers have access to free, independent legal representation. This person helps them to navigate the asylum procedure and assists them in filling out the necessary paperwork. If the asylum seeker is already registered in another European country, the SEM checks whether he can be sent back to that country. If this is found to be the case, responsibility for the asylum procedure passes to the country concerned. If the State Secretariat for Migration approves the asylum application, the next step is a detailed hearing. Here, the applicant gives reasons for leaving his country and presents evidence that backs up his claims. Based on this information, a decision is taken on whether the person should be recognized as a refugee and granted asylum in Switzerland. In clear-cut cases, the applicant will be notified of the asylum decision within eight days of the hearing. If the State Secretariat for Migration requires more time, the applicant is transferred to the extended procedure and relocated to a cantonal reception center. This procedure can take up to one year. At the end of this procedure, the SEM informs the applicant of its decision. If the SEM approves the application, the person will be granted asylum in Switzerland, receive a residence permit, and be allocated to a canton, which will oversee his integration. If the SEM rejects the application, the person must leave Switzerland, but only if his life would not be in real danger if he were to return to his country of origin. If it is impossible for the person to return for any of these reasons, he will be granted temporary admission status. Temporarily admitted persons are authorized to remain in Switzerland until the situation in their country of origin has normalized or until such times that their life would no longer be in danger should they return and if this repatriation is considered reasonable and feasible. This reflects the objectives of Swiss asylum policy. Those who are entitled to Switzerland's protection should receive it as quickly as possible. Those who are not must leave the country.